गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज शफी फ्रॉम डॉन बस्कु पी यू कॉलेज चित्रदुर्ग इन अवर प्रीवियस क्लास वी सक्सेसफुली फिनिश्ड द चैप्टर लीनियर इनइक्वालिटीज इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द न्यू चैप्टर दैट्स कॉल्ड बायनामियल थ्योरम दिस विल बी द एथ चैप्टर इन यूर एन सी आर टी टेक्स्ट बुक एंड ऑल्सो वी नो दैट इन दिस अकाडमिक इयर वी some portions are deleted isn't it so that we can't guess the weightage of the chapters but i am sure 100% there will be a one mark question in this topic 100% you will get a 100 five mark question in this topic okay let us know about binomial theorem before that what is mean by a binomial what is mean by binomial in this binomial theorem we have one word that's binomial so what is mean by a binomial can you guess what is mean by a binomial in our lower classes already we learn binomial what is mean by binomial any algebraic expression any algebraic expression with two terms with two terms is called a binomial is called a binomial these things already we learn in our lower classes binomial by is nothing but two isn't it the meaning of by is nothing but two isn't it right so any algebraic expression with two terms is called a binomial what about the examples let us consider examples 2x plus 3y 2x plus 3y it is one algebraic expression with two terms right it is the example of a binomial similarly x minus 3y similarly 2x minus 4y etc all these are the examples of a binomial right okay similarly similarly we know very well about the formula a plus b whole square right a plus b whole square before that a plus b whole power 0 is nothing but what a plus b whole power 0 by using the laws of exponents these things already we learn in our bridge course syllabus isn't it a plus b whole power 0 the value of a plus b whole power 0 is what by using the laws of exponents a power 0 is 1 isn't it similarly a plus b whole power 0 is 1 a plus b whole power 0 is 1 right now a plus b whole power 1 is what a plus b whole power 1 is what a plus b only right a plus b only right next similarly what about a plus b whole square a plus b whole square is what a square plus a square plus 2 ab plus b square right this formula we know a square plus 2ab plus b square right similarly what about a plus b whole cube a plus b whole cube what is the formula for a plus b whole cube a cube a cube plus 3a square b plus 3a b square plus b cube right it is a formula now similarly what about a plus b whole power 4 a plus b whole power 6 similarly what about a plus b whole power 4 what about a plus b whole power 5 what about a plus b whole power 6 a plus b whole power 7 how to write the expansion of a plus b whole power 4 how to write the expansion of a plus b whole power 5 okay 
let us know how we are going to expand these terms now you just observe a plus b whole power 0 is 1 a plus b whole power 0 is 1 isn't it a plus b whole power 1 is a plus b a plus b whole power 1 is a plus b if we move on to the a plus b whole square this will be a square plus 2ab plus b square you just observe it properly there we will get one small trick a plus b whole, a plus b whole square if you observe the quantity of first term the quantity of a the quantity of first term is decreasing a square next a power 1 next a power 0 right a square a power 1 a power 0 the quantity of first term is decreasing a plus b whole square a square a square next a power 1 next a power 0 right the quantity of first term is decreasing the quantity of first term is decreasing similarly what about the quantity of the second term the quantity of second term is increasing b power 1 b square that previous there will be b power 0 the quantity of first term is decreasing the quantity of second term is increasing the quantity of first term 2 1 0 2 1 0 the quantity of second term is increasing 0 1 2 0 1 2 isn't it similarly if you observe in the expansion of a plus b whole cube here also we will get the difference we can see the difference a plus b whole cube a cube the quantity of first term is increasing a cube the quantity of first term is increasing a cube next square next 1 next 0 next 0 a power 0 is 1 only isn't it 3 2 1 0 the quantity of first term is decreasing the quantity of first term is decreasing what about the quantity of second term what about the quantity of second term b power 0 b power 1 b square b cube the quantity of second term is increasing 0 1 2 3 i don't understand let me explain once again now let us learn how to expand the terms so a plus b whole square a plus b whole square we know that the quantity of first term is decreasing the quantity of first term is decreasing a square that is what a square plus next square next a power 1 next a power 0 okay the quantity of first term is decreasing square 2 1 0 right what about the quantity of second term the quantity of second term will be increases b power 0 b power 1 b square okay b power 0 b power 1 b square what about the coefficients yes we know that a plus b whole square formula will be a square plus 2ab plus b square writing the coefficients we will learn later so a square plus 2ab plus b square writing the coefficients of this we will learn later here you are going to learn how to expand these terms the quantity of first term will be decreases the quantity of second term will be increases right that is equals to a square a square b power 0 that value is what b power 0 by using the loss of exponents b power 0 value is 1 so a square plus 2 a power 1 b power 1 2 a b plus a power 0 the value of a power 0 is what 1 only b square 1 into b square is b square right so it is a plus b whole square expansion what about the expansion of a plus b whole cube we know the formula but here we are going to learn how to expand the terms we know that the quantity of first term is decreasing a cube yes we written already a cube a cube 
plus next a square a cube a square plus next a power 1 plus a power 0 3 2 1 0 the quantity of first term is decreases the quantity of second term is increases so it will be increases b power 0 b power 1 b square b cube b square b cube okay so it is the expansion of a plus the whole cube then what about the coefficients i already told you that we will learn we will learn writing the coefficients later so a cube we know this formula a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube okay so these things already we know a cube plus 3a square b plus 3a b square plus b cube b power 0 is 1 3a square into b power 1 is 3a square b 3a b square plus a power 0 is 1 1 into b cube is b cube only then what about what about a plus b whole power 4 a plus b whole power 4 is what we know that the quantity of the first term is decreases the quantity of the first term is decreases how a power 4 plus we have the index 4 a power 4 plus a cube plus a square plus a power 1 plus a power 0 okay the quantity of the first term is decreases 4 3 2 1 0 what about the quantity of the second term quantity of the second term will be increases into b power 0 b power 1 b square b cube b power 4 okay now what about the coefficients so these are the formulas we know that a plus b whole square a plus b whole, whole cube these are the general formulas already we know then what about a plus b whole power 4 it is the expansion of a plus b whole power 4 then how we are going to write the expansions how we are going to write the expansions oh, sorry how we are going to write the coefficients of these expansions we will learn later first we will learn how to expand these terms now a plus b whole power 5 is what a plus b whole power 5 expand these terms the quantity of first term is decreasing a power 5 plus a power 4 plus a cube plus a square plus a power 1 plus a power 0 okay next the quantity of second term is increases into b power 0 b power 1 b square b cube b power 4 b power 5 understand kindly do not confuse first first one is what we have to decrease the first term uh, we have to decrease the quantity of the first term after that we will increase the quantity of the second term that's it very simple now what about a plus b whole power 6, a plus b whole power 7, a plus b whole power 6, a plus b whole power 9, a plus b whole power 10. Yes, I think already you know it. Now how we are going to write the coefficients? a plus b whole square coefficient we know this two, right? a plus b whole cube that coefficients we know 3, 3. Then a plus b whole power 4 then what about the coefficients? that coefficients we will write by using the Pascal's triangle we are going to write the coefficients by using the Pascal triangle this Pascal triangle so Pascal's triangle now let us learn the Pascal's triangle so first one is index index and here it will be coefficients 
ओके If the index is zero, if the index is zero, then that coefficient will be one. If the index is one, then that coefficient will be one, one. If the index is two, if the index is two, then the coefficient will be one, one. So one plus one is two. If the index is three, then that coefficient will be one, one. One plus two is three. Two plus one is three. One plus two is three. Two plus one is three. Are we getting? If the index is zero, then that coefficient will be one. If the index is one, then that coefficient will be one one. If the index is two, then the coefficient will be one one. One plus one is two. If the index is four, if the index is four, one. One, one plus three. One plus three is four. Three plus three is how much? Six. Three plus one is how much? Four. If the index is four, then that question will be one, four, six, four, one. If the index is five, if the index is five, then that question is what? One, one. One plus four. One plus four is five. Six plus four, four plus six is ten. Next again, six plus four is also ten. Four plus one is five. Are you getting? Do not confuse. If the index is six, one, one, it will be triangle like this. It will be triangle like this. If the index is six, one, one. One plus five. One plus five is six. Five plus ten is fifteen. Ten plus ten is twenty. Ten plus fifteen is fifteen. Five plus one is six. One plus five is six. Ten plus five. Uh, five plus ten is fifteen. Ten plus ten is twenty. Ten plus five is fifteen. Five plus one is six. Similarly, what about if the index is seven? If the index is seven, one, one, one plus six, one plus six is seven. Six plus fifteen is twenty-one. Fifteen plus twenty is thirty-five. Next again, twenty plus fifteen is thirty-five. Fifteen plus six is twenty-one. Six plus one is seven. Are you understand? So it is called similarly and so on. Similarly and so on. We are going to write this Pascal's triangle. This will be the coefficient. This will be the coefficient. If the index is zero, then that coefficient will be one. If the index is one, then that coefficient will be one one. If the index is two, one one. One plus two is two. If the index is three, one one. One plus two is three. Two plus one is three. Like this, we will write the Pascal's triangle. I understand. Okay. Now, let us. Now let us move on to the a plus b whole power four. If you compare this Pascal's triangle with the previous one, previous expansions. See, a plus b whole power zero. Here the index is what? Index is zero. If the index is zero, then that coefficient will be one. If the index is zero, then that coefficient will be one. A plus b whole power zero. Index is zero. Here the index is zero. If the index is zero, then co that coefficient will be one, right? If the index is one, then that coefficient is what? See the Pascal's triangle. 
1. If the index is 1, then that coefficient 1, 1. 1, 1. That coefficient. Okay. If the index is 2, if the index is 2, then see the Pascal's triangle. If the index is 2, then Pascal triangle giving the coefficients are what? If the index is 2, then that coefficient will be 1, 2, 1. 1, 2, 1. See. 1, 2, 1. 1, 2, 1. 1 into anything is that much only. Right. If the index is 3, if the index is 3, here we have the index 3. Here we have the index 3. If the index is 3, then that coefficients are what? 1, 3, 3, 6. Sorry. 1, 3, 3, 1. If the index is 3, then that coefficient is what? 1, 3, 3, 1. See, we have 1, 3, 3, 1. 1 into a cube b power 0 is a cube only. 3a square b, 3a square b, 3a power 1 b square, 3a power 1 b square. 1 into a power 0 into b cube is b cube only, right? Up to a plus b whole cube, we know the coefficients, right? Now, what about the coefficients of a plus b whole power 4? See, the Pascal's triangle, if we have the index 4, if we have the index 4, then that coefficients are what? 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. If the index is 4, if the index is 0, then that coefficient will be 1. If the index is 1, then that coefficient will be 1, 1. If the index is 2, then that coefficient will be 1, 2, 1. If the index is 3, that coefficient will be 1, 3, 3, 1. If the index is 4, coefficients will be 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Here we expanded this term, a plus b whole power 4, we just expanded. We not written the coefficients of this expansion. Now let us uh, write coefficients also. a plus b whole power 4. What about the coefficients? a plus b whole power 4. Here the index is 4. Here the index is 4. If the index is 4, then that coefficients will be 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Yes, let us write the coefficients. 1, 4, 6, 4 1 this will be the coefficients of a plus b whole power 4 if the index is 4 coefficients will be 1 4 6 4 1 I don't understand if the index is 5 if the index is 5 then the coefficients will be what if the index is 5 then the coefficients will be what 1 5 10 10 5 1 1 5 10 10 5 1 so 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. I don't understand. So it is the procedure to expand the terms along with the coefficients. Right? Now, what about a plus b whole power 6? What about a plus b whole power 6? Expand this term. We know that the quantity of first term is decreasing, the quantity of second term is increasing. Let us uh, increase the quantity of first term. a power 6. Let us decrease the quantity of first term. a power 6, a power 5 plus a power 4 plus a cube plus a square plus a power 1 plus a power 0. Okay. The quantity of second term will be increases b power 0, b power 1, b square, b cube, b power 4, b power 5, b power 6. It is the expansion. It is the expansion. Then what about the coefficients? Then what about the coefficients? See the Pascal's triangle. If the index is 6, if the index is 6, then that coefficients will be what? 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. 15, 6, 1. It is the expansion of a plus b whole power 6. Now, you just try at your home that 
a plus b whole power 7, a plus b whole power 8, a plus b whole power 9, a plus b whole power 10. You just find out the expansions of a plus b whole power 7, a plus b whole power 8, a plus b whole power 9, a plus b whole power 10. Are you understand? So it is the concept of finding, it is a concept of expanding binomial. Now you can take a screenshot or pause the video. Now you may note down in your notebook. Kindly practice this expansion at your home. It is the expansion and it is the Pascal's triangle. and it is the Pascal's triangle. So kindly practice at your home. The expansions are very important for to solve the problems. It is the class for today. In the next class we are going to learn about the binomial theorem. I mean the proof of the binomial theorem.